Hello and thank you very much for clicking play in this video and here is a quick uh, fix for Sony Vegas basically this works in, in all Sony Vegas software uh, starting from movie studio uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, whatever 12 until the latest version which is uh, 13 okay so you know this is a couple of questions we have loads load of times is, uh, is what happened uh, to your system once you for example this windows appear or the GUI which means uh, the graphical user interface so basically I'm talking about uh, the whole Sony Vegas interface in itself and let's say you did something you you grab the, the trimmer viewer and you pull it out and then you want to get rid of it uh, you know and you, you click there and it disappears so how do you get it back so to get it back is quite simple okay the only thing you need to do so is go to view window and you find the trimmer you click it, it's back. Now all we need to do is just drag it back into the, the area where it was before. Now a quick tip I'm going to give you here as well is as you can see mine, uh, yours actually doesn't come like this. I put my preview window on the center of the screen because when I'm editing I like to have that, uh, you know, right in the middle of the screen, it's right in front of my face and it's a good place to have your preview window. But usually Sony Vegas comes with a trimmer on this side here and then you have the screen your preview window shows that so you know that's that's personal preferences is entirely up to you if you want to do this or not uh, another thing you may want to do if you have um, uh, a five you know if you have a surround system installed on your computer and you're working in a, in a five to one ratio so you know it's speakers what you want to do is click on this top here change steady to surround okay and apply so if you also recording video that records on on five to one surround sound. Once you upload, once you bring the video into Sony Vegas, all the, all the sound will be splitted into different areas, so you can actually mix and and clean up, uh, you know, unwanted noise very very quick just by seeing what's causing all the noise. Uh, another thing you can do here is you know under your preview window, as you can see we got these controls here, which is the same we have down here. So since we have them down here, we don't really, you know, need them there, but like, again, this is done to your preferences. I don't like them, so what I'm going to do is somewhere here, just click, right click, okay, and I'm going to remove the transporter, okay, the transporter bar. And now that just gives me a little bit more space for me to work, okay. Uh, now, the other way, so, you know, sometimes Vegas starts to crash, it can be down to file, you know, I have uploaded the, the video before about file compatibility but you can also do another thing here so you can see I can just go ahead and mess up all my Vegas here okay delete all this so you know I'm gonna delete delete video effects and stuff like that again in the video effects I just had a question about this uh, somebody deleted the video effects by clicking on across so they disappear from there all we do is just go to your view here and find video effects click and it, bring it, it brings it back okay there it goes but now it shows there you can rearrange them by drag and drop you know, arrange whatever you want that to be. You can, you know, arrange, rearrange everything. You can also move that to the top, to the bottom. Uh, everything is under your view windows how to set this up. So I'll probably put another tutorial because this one is already going too long. Now, now I messed up my Vegas here and the quickest way to, to next time, you know, if I next time I try to open Vegas, let me uh, find my Vegas Pro 12 icon is here. Okay, when I click, you can see it opens the same way I left when I last used it, you see. Now, how do we reset this? So to reset this, close, okay, and on your keyboard, click Control shift and click and, you know, double click on your icon and you get this. Now, this may be a good idea if you find that you have a lot of crashes or your Sony Vegas and Washington are rendering the, the videos properly. Uh, the reason you want to clean uh, all the cached applications is probably... You may have a small memory, RAM memory, or your hard drive may be pretty much nearly full. So, you know, if your hard drive doesn't have at least 15% space, free space to work, you're more likely that's what's causing the problem. So you may want to do this, is tick that box, delete all the cach ca cached applications, <laughs> sorry, delete all the cached applications and click, uh, you know, and then click here. So in this case, I don't need because I have, I have, uh, you know, I have uh, two terabytes hard drives and I have uh, 16 uh, gigabytes of RAM so you know got plenty of them there so I just click yes reset Sony Vegas to his original GUI 
uh, for the user interface layout. So there it goes. Here is how to reset your Sony Vegas. I'm Zenuns. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and post your questions below. You know, if you have any other issues, please put it down. Give me some ideas of what kind of videos I can create that you guys want to watch. Once again, bye-bye for now.